Hello and welcome to episode 45 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. Leatherhead are flying at the moment. We've been away for a while, but we're back now. Can we keep the good form going? Let's get straight into it. Uh, right. Let's take a look at the sides for the first game of the evening. And we are at the Michael Caine Arena. Okay, let's have a look at the sides for the first game of this episode, Watford at the Michael Caine Arena. Uh, we are having some mod issues, but I'm, the Michael Caine Arena shouldn't be affected here. Uh, let's see how everyone's looking today. Now, we had some success, I believe, in the last episode by going back to Skov and... I know Talis mango has been playing quite well, hasn't he? Uh, Yalsin on the right does not work. Oh yeah, Sheriff Woody looking tired, Jesus Christ. So Sheriff Woody very, very tired. I think we're probably going to have to rest him. We've got Champions League game in three days. I mean, everything's a must win at the moment. Steel on, I mean, he's on a downward arrow as well. I think that that makes the decision for us. It's got to be a switch there. Uh, yeah, I think we did have a bit of Armstrong back on the side. I think we're going to go Scov today, though. Out on the right. Hester Cook could do with a Charlie Rester Cook, but I'm not going to rest him today. A Darabio, that was it. We were playing a Darabio at the back. And Salisu, the new signing, was dropped to the bench. But I don't think we're going to do that on a downward arrow. Tosin. Could this be Reese Williams' time? No, not today. Not today. <laughs> what third aside that we know well? Uh, Cycling GK, not even on the bench. That's a shame. Five at the back, three in midfield. And uh, big Welbs up top. Suarez and Welbs. It's a good duo. They've got Delefeo on the bench. Gray on the bench. Anyway, look, we are a team in blistering form at the moment. We've dispatched Bayern Munich and Liverpool in recent games. And uh, I think we can do the same today. All right, let's get into it. So we are going to have some mod issues in this episode, but the Michael Caine Arena remains as it is. You can see there Box Hill in the background. Famous. For the uh, cycling events at the uh, Olympics, the London Olympics, you might remember people going up a big windy hill. Just a stone's throw away here from the Michael Caine Arena. On the banks of the River Mole, we're back in the league. It's a beautiful day for us to get off to a winning start in this episode. We are the form side in the league, or at least one of them. And we want more wins and more goals. Suarez. Ooh, De Silva. Are we, are we letting him? Okay, there we are. That's poor. Oh, love that ball. Oh, and Yalsin takes it neatly. <laughs> all right. All right, Gavin. That's not what we want to see. We'll play it out here to the overlapping. Josh De Silva. Williams does well, but De Silva does better. Into Zanatdinov. Turns. Oh, into trouble. We're really struggling to break down this defence. Ball flicked in. Looking for Hester Cook. That's unlucky. Showing decent... Play in the midfield, but we yet to link it up with the attack here. Zanatdinov's shot is blocked by fucking Gavin Yalsin. Slips it through. Gavin Yalsin here. He's through one-on-one. -on -one. It has to be. Oh, no way. How? He loves hitting the post. I don't understand it. <laughs> You're on a blue arrow, Gavin. You're out of this club. You're dead to me. Oh, Christ almighty. Gavin! BB King again. Can he play the same ball through here into Gavin Yalsin? Much more difficult chance this time. Takes one touch too many. Mr. Kirk, Zanatdinov. Mr. Kirk through. Oh, it's well worked. Unlucky. Really unlucky there. Oh, too much on that for Josh De Silva. Can just about get there. Caicedo. Zanatinov, snapshot here, yes! We are not a original not original At least we're back in the goals. That is good to know. Good finish there by the original Nutter. Patient build up from Leatherhead. Nutty just taking that position that he loves just on the edge of the D. One touch out of his feet. What a finish. A pile driver from the Kazakhstani International. He's in the goals this season, definitely. I think a lot of people would have maybe thought that Leatherhead would look to upgrade in such an important position, but I'd say that Zanatdinov 
It's done it. Uh, hang. <laughs> did anyone? Did anyone see that? <laughs> Am I? Did I just have a stroke? I have no idea how that is possible. But that is bizarre. L. Davis. I, I genuinely do not know how that's happened. Anyway. <laughs> Fucking Konami. That's all I can say. I mean, conspiracy theorists would say that Konami have dropped this data back to try and get people, I guess, playing the new game? But I don't know how that's going to work for them. <laughs> Yalsin. Armstrong. Back into Gavin Yalsin. It's got to be here. Oh, you... how is he hitting the post every time? That is bizarre. That's weird. <laughs> He seems to be only able to hit the post. I've been watching one of those documentaries about match fixing in basketball. Maybe he's so good that he knows he can hit the post every time. And there's some sort of betting ring going on involving hitting the post. I don't understand how he's done that now twice in a game. And that's... A 1-0 win that we will absolutely bank and take all three points. And that is very, very confusing. I don't, I don't know what's happened there. Why are they looking at him as well? Anyway, we'll take the three points. I'm confused. Spooky things are happening in Leatherhead today. They must have signed him from Arsenal. Well, maybe... I don't know. So, three points ground out there at the Michael Caine. And that sees us move into third. <laughs> Still a big, big gap between us and City, who I believe we play in this episode. If we've got any chance of finding a way back into the uh, race for the league title, which is what we need to keep our job, if I recall correctly, then we're going to need to beat the team who have yet to lose this season. And they've only conceded five goals <laughs> in 15 games. And, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. <laughs> anyway... What we've got to look forward to now is possibly, possibly making it into the Europa League. Or possibly, even more possibly, is making it into the knockout round of the Champions League. Because, not playoffs, because it's still doable. If Bayern lose to Atletico Madrid and we beat Sporting, who are yet to get any points, we could be on a run to the Champions League final. You never know. You never know. So BB King has to start on the dramatic improvement. God, Steely again. All right, well, we do need to rest him at least. Uh, Tosin can come in. Salisu was actually okay, I have to say, in that game. Um, maybe we'll give Seager a rest. Controversial. It's the first pairing between Salisu and Adarabi, as far as I'm aware. Um, okay, it's Jones. Fabian Depp. Okay. Uh, start Calabrese. Yeah. We could start Talis Mango there. Play Armstrong on the right. And big Timothy up top. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. I think it was Timothy who scored all those goals against uh, Bayern, didn't he? So, Champions League quality. Could we drop Hester Cook? Give Jones a run out. No, they'll just be our first subs. I'm happy with that. Tosin on a blue, captaining the side today uh, against a very, very strong Champions League side, as you'd expect. They signed Aaron's. Interesting. Not a very strong midfield, actually. Not a particularly strong team. <laughs> yeah, will players get any minutes? Players. I don't know why that's fucked up. I can't even. Almost can't be bothered because it's not like we ever play me anymore. <laughs> But, uh, you know, Champions League final. It'd be nice to come on for the pens with our quality we know we've got there. Yeah, okay, not the hardest team in the world. They haven't won any points so far in the group. So three points for us would put us in a really interesting position. But it does look like we're going to be playing more European football anyway uh, this season, which is always good. A little run in the Europa League would be quite fun. Let's get it on. Come on then. Danger here. Good ball through. Salisu does well. Is he playing his way into... Why would I even say that? Is he playing his way, is he playing his way into fucking awful? Yes, he is. Is he 
gently punts it into touch for no reason at all. And now Sporting have another attacking opportunity. Good ball in. Adarabio. Strong foot from the experienced centre-back. Some good build-up here from the visitors. Nice crisp passing. Yes, Timothy. Crisp passing here from this leatherhead side. Under the lights here. Champions League evening. Oh, lovely ball into Armstrong. Oh, ho, ho, what a solid hit there from the perennial benched player. Green shirts flooding forward here. Big opportunity for Timothy Weyer. Should get to this ahead of Quartes. Oh, looks for the layback there. But has he won himself a penalty? Look for the sweat. Oh, we have won a penalty as well. That's harsh. You've got to say on the sporting keeper there. I think Timothy Ware should have just put that away. Great pace away from Quartes. One thing we do love about Timothy Ware, he's a big boy, but he's also rapid. Oh, it's Armstrong up to take that. Is this our best option? Yes, massively. Okay. Bottom right. Call the AA when you need a goal. Lovely finish. There he is. He's scored a surprising amount of goals considering the minutes he's had. It's our first chance to look at someone else. Dun, dun, dun. Spooky. Where, where am I, though? That's the question. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. I don't know why that's happened. I can't remember. But it is sad. Hunter's lost his job and we just we weren't told about it. But yeah, Adam Armstrong. That's the positive here. We get a goal. A Champions League goal for Adam Armstrong. Gotta love that. Look at that. What? <laughs> That's really unlucky. I don't think that was a pen, to be honest, but we'll take it. Finds Hester Cook. Down the line looking for Armstrong. He's really up for this one today. Away from his man. Low ball across. Timothy Weyer puts it in. Weyer, yeah, yeah. Weyer, yeah, yeah. I said, Tim, cheers to you, Timothy. But Adam Armstrong, player of the game so far. Look at this movement. Great pace. Takes it away from his man. Drills in a low cross. And Weyer with a tidy left-footed finish. That's the way we do it, lads. From Blackburn, Blackburn to the Bernabeu, the A, A, A and B, B combo, yeah. Uh, we do need a C. I'll tell you who is a bit of a C. Bloody Gavin Yalsin. And not the good sort of C. He is playing like a C word at the moment. Salisu, lovely. Never! Oh, it's not a pen. No, it's not a pen. Yeah, okay, it's a foul. Good. Yes, well won. Timothy Weyer. BB King, it's got to be. Yes, is he on the side? Long live the King. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> oh, the King. Bout time. Bout time he scored. The Chilean back on the score sheet. That dramatic improvement keeps going. Uh, it's very sad that the manager mod seems to have broken. Um, but we can hopefully we can fix that. Yeah. Johnny Hunter's had a relapse. The manager's had a relapse. Uh, that is actually our assistant manager. Uh, that's really, really poor, though. Really poor defending. Talismango, though. Accent. Uh, <laughs> Talismango with some really smart defending from the front there. And it's a pretty easy tap-in in the end. Hopefully. Surely. Triple sub. Keeping everyone fresh. Gavin Yalsin given another chance by uh, the stand-in manager today. Fabian Depth. Haven't seen much of him so far. Slips a beautiful ball through into Timothy Weyer, though. Oh, takes it too wide. Back to Yalsin. Oof, blocked there. Weyer should have made it four there. Just couldn't work the opportunity that he wanted. Tyler's Mango. It's well weighted, but Caicedo can't quite get there, but he's nicked it back there. Timothy Weyer, lovely. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say Weyer. Weyer. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say Weyer. And it's a brace for the American. Watch where you're walking, yo. Watch where you're... You're in Brooklyn now. Now, I just can't do it. Uh, simple stuff, though. Lovely, lovely. That's how you dispatch a team from a lesser league. <laughs> That's a horrible insult. Tosin says, someone can keep this ball. 
What a win. What a win. Doesn't look like we've uh, unfortunately made it out of the group despite the 4-0 win. Looks like Bayern got the better of Atletico Madrid. It's a shame. We did just about everything we could. The Europa League looks to be the next chapter in this European story for this season. But it's not a big, it's not a big deal. I'm happy with that. Oh, a 1-0 win for Bayern as well. Very, very close group. It's unlucky. It's unlucky. But we'll, we'll, we'll have a really good time, I'm sure, in the Europa League. But now things get very serious. If we've got any chance of winning the league, which is unlikely, it has to be said. We've got to get a win today. We've been offered the Rangers job, which is, you know, flattering. Not particularly attractive. But a trip to the Etihad. <laughs> big, big game here. Big, huge, colossal game. Ooh, and some poor form. Well, Weyer is starting. There's no doubt about that. I guess we go with what we went with in the last game. It did well. So I'm happy with that. It's a shame to see Nutty, though, out of this one. Do we go Seager and Adarabio? You feel like that is our best centre-back duo still. So we're going to keep that as it is. Um, depth on the bench. Probably a better option. Just all around. Balogun on the bench. Worth a look? Probably not. I think that's what we go for. Some tired legs in the midfield, unfortunately. BB King on a blue. Huge challenge today as we invite a typically strong Manchester City side, or we don't invite them. We take a trip up north. Uh, new signing Sense, Sensi in the midfield. 77 rated Pala is in there in place of uh, could be Gundogan, could be uh, Chowdhury. Interesting signing there. Pavon Jesus on the bench. No De Bruyne. Oh no, De Bruyne playing up top. There is a De Bruyne. That's classic. That is classic. Oh, Foden, shit. 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 Oh, Tosin, yes. Palaversa. Oh, my God. Big Woody back in today. If we can weather the storm in these games, we're normally okay, but they often score early. It's already beginning to feel like that might happen here. De Bruyne with the outswinger. Palaversa's got ahead of BB King. Rodri has to cook. Oh, my word. Big Woody. <laughs> needed a reaction save there. <laughs> yeah, the Etihad is working. And look, with the Abu Dhabi uh, things. So, the storm. We're definitely in the eye of... Not the eye of the storm. Oh, my God. We're in the, right in the thick of it early on here. Three chances for Manchester City. Way out. Oh, tries to delay. Armstrong can get there ahead of Aki. Option number one is Timothy Weyer here. Throw on goal. Oh, just couldn't get it out of his feet. Did not get a good connection on that. We need to be taking our chances here at the Etihad. That is a huge miss. We'll look up and spread it wide to Matty Cash. Big opportunity for the pole here to step inside. Weyer, lovely first touch. <gasps> Timothy! Tim! Tim, mate, that's two big chances. This is not the game to start doing a Yousin impression. Lovely first touch away from Laporte. He did everything right. Good football from Leatherhead. <laughs> Two very scorable chances, though, for the American. We're panicking a little here, lads. Cannot afford to panic. Zinchenko steps back. Good ball in. Adarabio once again. Crucial intervention there from the ex Manchester City man. Sterling again will flight one in. Oh, Seager. Had so much time to deal with that. Yes, Josh. Big game, big players. BB came back inside to the best left back in the league. Ooh, could still get to that. I think there was a foul in there somewhere. De Bruyne. Let's whip it in here. Sterling. That's close. That's too close. Cash through to Mango. Oh, lovely take. Tell his mango. Yes. Come on. The young Brazilian opens the scoring hair. Scoring hair? Opens his scoring hair and finds a lovely goal in size. I was just put off again by that weird denim wearing guy on the touchline and we don't even know. But Mango gets an important goal in a big game. Lovely run from the midfield. 
Let's take another look here. Hester Cook, good ball into uh, Matty Cash. Really nice first touch away from Nathan Aki. And then he kept his cool outside of the boot finish for the young Brazilian. And we're up in this crucial game, 1-0. The substitute Gundogan beaten to it by BB King. Oh, could we see something dramatic here from the Chilean? That wasn't the plan. But it's found way or anyway. Back th oh, we fucked that completely. <laughs> Little pushing bu push ball into Talis Mango. Talis Mango is already on one and he makes it two. Oh, a little bit of Jessica in my life. A little bit of Charlie by my side. Yeah, anyway. Mango number 17. Doom, do, do, do. I can't even remember how the song goes. Mango number 17. Yes. A brace in the biggest game of the season. And this time, just given too much space, he just drifts away from Rodri Rodrigo. No, from R Rodri even. On a big hit. Given too much time. Far too much time. And Chowdhury on. Could find them a way back into it. BB King takes one in the uh, crown jewels. I think he's okay. He may not father a child, but that might be all the Pepsi Max he's been drinking as well. Can't be good for you. Oh, horrible foul there. Horrible. They don't like him. They're probably considering buying him now. Matty Kaszkowski, the pole on the overlap. Plenty of time to pick out Timothy Weyer here to make... Oh, to make it very nearly three. Armstrong must be, surely. Oh, that would have killed it off there. Big, big chances. It's a great ball in. It's a great opportunity there for Weyer. And it's a good save in the end. Fell to Armstrong. You feel like he could have done better. He had a lot of the goal to aim at. To the keeper's right. Ooh, we look like we really want to give him a goal here. But Woody, strong. Strong as the Woody was carved with. Cash money. Get into Armstrong, he's been excellent. Oh, it's beautifully worked here from Leatherhead. Round the corner looking for Weyer. Talis Mango side down again. I wouldn't be surprised to see him with an injury after this game. It's Rodrigo. Gets the uh, free kick here. And that should be all over here at the Etihad. And it's a brace from the young Brazilian Talis Mango. He's played the last two games at attacking midfield and looked excellent. So Natanov does not feature today. But we didn't need him. Wow. That really opens things up in the Premier League. The undefeated Manchester City's dream of the invincible season is over. Look at that. Well, it's reduced the gap a bit. Manchester United now within six points. We're still a fair way off, to be to, to be honest, but we can do this. So we've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven games on the on the bounce. Um, are we happy with our scouts at the moment? Oh, Eddie and Ketia might be interesting. Giroud would be an interesting option, wouldn't he? <clears throat> so we're looking for a right back at the moment, aren't we? Because that's if we want to sell Matty Cash. I'd like someone better than them, though, to replace him. And a winger. Oh, we do need a winger, don't we, for Skov. Skov's going. This guy looks good. This guy looks quite Skov-esque, actually. Strong, quick. 80 finishing, 82 offensive awareness. Yeah, we'll take him. Okareki, the Nigerian playing in Belgium. Yeah, be happy with that. Be happy with Paulinho as well. Anyway, right, let's take a look here. Final game of the episode, and we're back at the Michael Caine. And we are in blistering form and everyone looking rested and happy. Players on a green arrow. I don't even think he's going to get a game today, though. Um, <clears throat> let's go depth in. Scov on a blue. I mean, this is first choice 11. I oh, know, with Weyer. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's first choice at the moment, I would say. Nope, sorry. Tosin. <laughs> That's first choice at the moment, I would say. Um... Armstrong's been good, but I think Talis Mango can still offer everything that he has at his disposal out on that right-hand side. It's lovely. Talis Mango. Standout player in this side. That's beautiful footwork from him. Caicedo out to De Silva. De Silva through to BB King. Sets back. Sanatinov. Ooh, Timothy! Yes! Where? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's a Tim. Watch where you're walking, yo. Lovely start. He's there to mop up, but it's just crisp, incisive passing from this just magnificent leather head side, it has to be said. They look unbeatable at the moment. Trossard, back to Bernardo, dangerous looking ball in, and Doni slips a header in at the near post. That's an excellent finish from the Brighton striker. It's the Brazilian. Bernardo puts a good ball in, and Darabio beaten to that. We haven't been scored on in a while. Love that ball from Caicedo. <sighs> Hester Cooks passes wayward though, and there's a big opportunity here for Brighton if they can pick out and donate. Good turn from him. Oh, he's got away from him. That special. Wow. And Doné with a hit. An absolute stonker there from the Brighton forward. He's done well to get away from a Darabio, but somehow generated so much power there. Well, a hushed, shocked silence falls over the Michael Caine arena. We did not see that coming. But now Hester Cook in the fullback role. Oh, looks for the run of Zanatdinov. Oh, that's gorgeous. What a ball. Oh, just couldn't quite match it. Cantering forward here. Nutty. Ref. Ref. That's a really good challenge, though, to be fair. Finds Weyer. Nicely worked there. Talis Mango. Can he find Zanatdinov? He can. One more now out to Matty Cash. So you've got BB King to look for at the far post, but he's there. Oh, long live the king. Long live the king. That is lovely. Great football from Leatherhead. And Ben Brereton Diaz, the Chilean, keeps his Pepsi Max contract for another week. Lamptey, big problems here for Leatherhead. Ooh, no, how did he get to that? We were lucky there. A little bit of miscommunication in the defence. Charlie has to cook now. BB King. Gets away with it. Still Zanatinov. Yes! I knew it was worth giving him a couple of extra minutes. He is an utter original. Bam, 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 bam. Utter original. Incredible. Yes. Nutty. Oh, shit. And Dono, this would be a really cruel end to the... Oh, how's he done that? Oh, you're taking the piss. Never. Seeger had out-sprinted him there. Got to that, just somehow misjudged it. That is terrifyingly poor. What have you done there, Will? How has that happened? That's absolutely heartbreaking. Ah. Uh... Heartbreaking stuff here. That is nasty. That's nasty. What a horrible end to a game that we should have won. We battled back. There we are, 3-3. Oh, we had a chance to close the gap between us and United to only one point. No, two points. But we're still in it. Still in it. Still unbeaten in eight. That's right. We've still only lost two this season. We've drawn too many. Yeah, sure. We've conceded 20, scored four. We've scored the most goals. We are the best attacking team in the Premier League. Can't really argue with that. We've had some huge scalps. Hopefully it'll be enough to keep on to his job, even if we don't win the league. So there we have it. We can't be beaten at the moment. And we've managed to overcome Man City. We're in the race for the top of the table. Things are looking great for Leatherhead. A Europa League run and potentially a title challenge to come. Join me for that on Monday at 9 o'clock over on Twitch. I'm sure you'll love it. It's great to be there live and enjoy these goals as they go in. So it'd be great to see you there. If not, like the video, subscribe. See you in a bit.